Luxembourg's importance as a hub for investment funds is even more in the spotlight today after the UK's Brexit referendum. Fundrock, led by Chief Executive Revel Wood, is one of the Grand Duchy's leading independent third-party fund management companies. If most of the money Revel is managed in London or New York, why do fund groups need a presence in Luxembourg? Yuri, uh, I think that stems from uh, way back when USITS first started uh, and this uh, concept of accessing the European market through a passport, which became very successful. And that uh, brand was then passported to Asia, to South America and around the globe. And particularly in jurisdictions like Luxembourg or Ireland, these fund centres have developed. They've developed a an ecosystem and infrastructure. But the independent fund management groups such as yourself, you're bursting out of the back office, so to speak. It's not just custody and administration. You're involved in some of the more expert tasks now, the risk management and, and due diligence. Mm. So this is a market that's definitely evolved uh, from the early days. We have a long, long heritage in fund governance dating back to our UK uh, heritage under RBS, which dates back over 80 years. More and more, managers are not looking just for the core, which is a given now, and we've built incredible connectivity to uh, the large global custodians and central administrators. That ability to do risk management, oversight, compliance and control is core and but what we now do is we see clients expecting and what we uh, ensure is we add more value add in terms of uh, uh, knowledge structuring uh, in terms of the connectivity global connectivity uh, with the market and with distributors uh, distributors around the globe adding value as a one-stop shop solution for things like kid production, uh, regulatory reporting, of which there's more and more. So there's a lot of taking the headache away from all the regulatory requirements and nuances of being on a, in a highly regulated uh, centre. And your services are evolving further because you've bought a firm here in the UK, which w is why we're, we're filming in, in London today, and you've opened up in, in Dublin. How will the three centres now work together and how will that increase and broaden the palette of services which you provide? We have 70 people today in Luxembourg. That is our key hub and, and deep expertise. We service a, a global client base because we see more and more global managers don't have a fund range only in one jurisdiction. And what we believe is being present in two of the large Europe the largest European fund centres, namely Luxembourg and Ireland. That caters for uh, managers' needs who have different distribution needs and want to be in, in either or both jurisdictions. But longer term, post-Brexit, having a presence in uh, the UK, in London, gives us is we remove that uncertainty because managers, whether it's uh, um, European managers wanting to distribute uh, into L London or London managers wanting to leverage those uh, jurisdictions in Europe, we will be able to cater for all managers, providing a solution right now and for the years to come that is insulated from geopolitical uncertainty.